Are we there yet, David? Not yet. This is okay. Here we are. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Welcome to Lent. Sunday Eucharist on Lent. We offer a special welcome to those who are joining us on Twitch and YouTube. No matter when or where you join us, the Holy Spirit links us together. It's one of those modern mysteries that's an eternal mystery. A quick heads up, the um, Zoom rooms create a kind of echo when we pray together. It makes kind of a happy cacophony sound. So don't worry about it. Keep praying. David will be monitoring um, the chat in Twitch. So feel free to <coughs> add your prayer requests, homily comments, or just to say, hello, I am here. So now we take a deep breath together and begin our celebration. Blessed are you, O God, creator of the universe. At your word. At your word, and you burst forth into existence, and come to us as light. You create day and night. You roll away the light before the darkness. And the darkness before the light. Blessed are you, O God. For you bring your light to our world. For you bring on the evening of twilight. In the name of Abba, God, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is Amen. 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 The grace of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also be with, you. with you. And at this time, I'd like to thank our own Lori for offering to preside today, and you could take on over. Almighty and ancient God, you are ever-present, and you are our light. It is through you and with you that we are many lights within your brilliant creation. You have called us to be faithful children, warm by the fire of your Holy Spirit. You have called us to be light in the beginning, as we have been shed light on us with an ever ending flame. We have come together as a community to welcome your Spirit and to praise you for the many and varied gifts your children hold within themselves. Yet that, as within a circle, come back to you and your church. You are love, you are light, you are wisdom. This beautiful day, may all be welcome in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us confess all that prevents true harmony, the times when we have lost our way, the wounding times when we have caused division, the cold times of our love, so may we find peace with each other, peace with the world, and peace with God. Oh God, oh God, we've looked away from you, we've looked away from you. We can face the past of all in us and separate us from each other, from each other, from each other, from the world. In faith and in truth, that we may grow in love, be generous in the goodness, and love the living and healing of all of us to each other. Great spirit of compassion, you accept and welcome us as we are, with our light and our shadows. You also call us to the fullness of life in you. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have Lord, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Come, God of the poor. Come, light of our hearts. Come, voice of the silence. Come, generous spirit. By the glory, by the glory of, of your creation around us. us. By, by the comfort of your presence within us. By the way we experience your now in this place. Inspire and be with us. That we, that we can, can join to this celebration. 
Plaz is our Prince of Peace custom. We open up the liturgy of the word, the Greek for the week. And um, today, it, it's once again, Chris, and from the second reading, which is the letter to the Hebrews. Um, in the lectionary, it says, in the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh. Um, for some reason, for some reason, the lectionary people put in the word Christ. It's just in the days when Jesus was in the flesh. And then a few lines later, you're going to hear the word salvation. Now, in the Greek, those two, you have the Greek name of Jesus is Jesus, right? And the Greek word for salvation sounds nothing like it. Like it's soteriology comes from that word, soterian or soterius. I can't remember what it is exactly in here, but um, I'm sure that the author of Hebrews knew that Jesus' name in the Aramaic was based on the Hebrew word for God is salvation. Or more than that, Yah, very short. It's a short form of the name of God, the salvation, Yeshua. And um, there's an entire book in the Hebrew scriptures named after somebody. It's the book of Yeshua. It was a pretty common name in Jesus' time. In the English-speaking culture, in the white neighborhood I grew up in, Without, in other words, without people named Jesus, I thought the name Jesus was very exotic, but of course it, it wasn't, and in many cultures it isn't. So I was wondering if anyone can guess what the book of Jesus is in the Septuagint, the Greek uh, translation. Syriac. Syriac. Close. Oh, yes. Oh. I was thinking of another one, actually. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Joshua. I think his first name was uh, Yeshua. Yeah, Yeshua, well. that's right. I yeah. forgot. It's the book of Joshua. Oh, oh, Joshua, yeah. Right? Yes, so yeah. It's the book of Joshua. So um, God is salvation. And uh, here we go. The, and this, this author writing the letter to the Hebrews is drawing that connection. But I think it was sort of like a little twinkle in their own eye because it's in Greek where the connection isn't obvious. So thank yeah, you. I was thinking Greek. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Our first reading is from uh, the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. When I broke my covenant and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sins no more. This is God's holy word. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm this morning is excerpts from Psalm 51. And the response is, Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Create a clean heart for me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God. And a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence. And your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of my your salvation. And a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways. And sinners shall return to you. 
Our second reading is from Hebrew 5. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was uh, able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. This is God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Glory to you, You are the word of God. Whoever serves me must, must follow me, says the Lord. And where I am, there also will my servant be. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. The teachings of Jesus Christ is recorded by John. Glory to you. Glory Glory to you Lord. Lord. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. These approached Philip, who came from Bethesda in Galilee, and put this request to him. Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Jesus went to tell Andrew, and Andrew and Philip together went to tell Jesus. And Jesus replied to them, Now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you more. Grain, but if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Sorry. Anyone who loves his life loses it. Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep keep it for eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. Now my soul is troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this very reason I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. People standing by who heard this said, it was a clap of thunder. Others said, it was an angel speaking to him. Jesus answered, it was not for my sake this voice came, but for yours. Now sentence is being passed on this world. Now the prince of this world is to be overthrown. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. By these words, he indicated the kind of death he would die. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise. I want to start what I'm sharing with a quote from Michael K. Marsh. Um, he's an Episcopal priest, and some of his sermons are online. Somehow, death and seeing Jesus are intimately related. To see Jesus is more than looking at him. It is more than just believing the things he said and did. We follow Christ as participants, not spectators. If we want to see Jesus, then we must learn to die. To the degree we avoid and deny death, we refuse to see Jesus. Seeing Jesus means dying to all the parts of our life that blind us. Fear, the need to be right or be in control, anger and resentment, the guilt and disappointments of our past, attachment to power, wealth, and reputation, the ways in which we separate ourselves from one another, our obsessions, compulsions, and emotional agendas, the ways in which we hurt one another and damage relationships. Ultimately, it means dying to our own self-sufficiency. We let go of our life to receive God's life. The work of dying is difficult and painful. It is, as Jesus describes, soul troubling. It shakes us to the core. 
Dying, however, begins to clarify and heal our vision. We see a new life and a new way of being. It looks like Jesus and his way of living and being. That's what this week is about. Now, while the world is facing death on a grand scale, Lent seems deeper than some other years. Having God's law of love and compassion written upon our hearts is both joyous and sorrowful. Recently, I was chastened by a friend for my celebration of a blessing I received. This friend saw it as a vainglorious statement of being special to God certainly not what I meant by it. They saw it as cruel to all the many who are suffering. The problem of evil does not go away. I, for one, don't understand why a nine-year-old local child died after years of tremendous bone pain from leukemia. I want my friend to know that I cling to every blessing because things are serious. Jesus could have asked his suffering to pass by him, and he did ask it in Gethsemane. Now is the time of judgment on this world. I, like everyone else, have had suffering in this life. Mysteriously, joy has always been there too. I hope to share the joy and the suffering. Jesus is not an easy answer to suffering but his heart is full of love and compassion. And now I'd like to share something by Patricia Dachuk Sanchez. In his spiritual manifesto, Why I Am Still a Christian, Hans Kung suggests that the church is to emulate the spirit of the one crucified by entering into those struggles which continue to scar humankind. He defines the church's share of Jesus' hour and its pathway to glory as a struggle to ensure respect for human dignity against all animosity, even to the point of love for one's enemies. A struggle for freedom against all oppression, even to the point of selfless service. A struggle for justice against all injustice even to the point of voluntarily surrendering one's rights. A struggle against all selfishness, even to the point of giving up the things we own. A struggle for peace against all strife, even to the point of infinite reconciliation. It would seem, therefore, that believers are charged to come away from today's celebration with a new, renewed appreciation of Jesus saving scars as well as a deepened sense of dedication to the struggle of the human experience. The scars of human suffering are all around us. It is ours to soothe and offer assurance that just as the sufferings of Christ were the pathway to life, so shall every human struggle lay the groundwork for the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Thank you. And now if people will share their insights. My mom used to like to remind me when I was a teenager because, of course, who wants to follow someone who says, ah, the path, this is how I learned obedience, the cross Follow me and take up your cross. You know, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, my mom used to like to remind me that um, Paul wrote the famous joy passage, Rejoice in the Lord Always. He was in prison. So as you brought out just now, Sheila, like, the joy is there in our hearts. The joy is around us, and, and there was always something to celebrate in the midst of the pain. My mother suffered terribly from diabetes. She was in she was in pain pretty much continuously the last 12, 15 years of her life. And she always said to me, there is always an undercurrent of joy. No matter mm -hmm. what is going on, there's always joy underneath it. Mm -hmm. so, 
there's always pink in the purple, she would say, referring to <laughs> Rose right. Sunday. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love the book of John because <clears throat> uh, it calls the passion of Christ glory. And that's the book of glory. John is divided into three parts. I forget what the first one is. But the second one is about the miracles. And then the third one is glory. And that's the passion. And like we're starting out on that now. Uh, Jesus says, glorify your name. You know, and he's talking about his passion. Uh, so this is, this is glory in, in ways that are still not clear to us but are becoming clear as we age, <laughs> if we grow wisely and well, as somebody I used to know said, <laughs> it will, will become clearer and clearer, I think. Um, when, when I was training people um, in the intelligence community, I used to quote this verse to them, unless the wheat falls to the ground and dies, you know, <laughs> and uh, because, you know, we, we weren't being called to do uh, spectacular blitzy things we were supposed to be unnoticed <laughs> and, and um, you know do our our work for the greater good you know the common good and um, nobody would ever know about it at, at CIA if uh, all their heroes are anonymous they have this wall of stars with no names and uh, those are I like to think I could be wrong. <laughs> In some cases, I'm sure I am. I like to think those are grains of wheat that fell to the ground. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So we all have a call to do that in one way or another, I think, in our lives. You know, just fall to the ground and bear fruit. And in ways we might not even realize ourselves. So, yeah. I, I think this has part somewhat to do with this. Um, we've all had times in our lives when we question, uh, did I do good enough? Was the career choice that I chose the right one? Could I have done more? You know, basically sort of like a midlife crisis. And any, any time that I've mentioned that I have doubts about what I've done, my friends and family always remind me of the thousands of people that I've uh, touched through games or through just being present. And so um, even though I have my own doubts, I guess uh, I, I really, I, I can I can understand that um, I have had lots of joy in my life and I've spread lots of joy. Um, mm -hmm. e even even in the midst of the hardest times, just a smile sometimes can can be somebody else giving you a smile even or you giving somebody else a smile can be mm -hmm. a joyful event, you yeah. know, and change the direction of someone's life. I don't know. I, I think that has something to do with what we're reading about um, mm -hmm. or what we're talking about, um, that there's always an undercurrent of of joy to things. You know? So yes. even on our hardest days, we we still might give a word of comfort to someone we know. Yes, exactly. Uh, the tiniest thing you do, something you don't even notice you're doing, could be of great benefit. You know. So, <laughs> Joe um, <laughs> likes to open the car door for me. Uh, and one time we were at a, a restaurant in another town, and uh, uh, apparently somebody saw Joe do that, and. Uh, he was. He then said to Joe, "Oh, you're giving us a, all a good example." <laughs> and then Joe thought, "Well, maybe everybody's going to be mad at him <laughs> for being so a goody two shoes." <laughs> like the student who raises his hand in class, or me, <laughs> yeah. right? She always gets yeah. straight A's. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Profess our faith. We believe, we believe in, trust. in trust. In one God, the Almighty, maker of the earth and the cosmos, of all that is visible and invisible, known and unimaginable. We, we believe, believe in trust. trust. That the Lord Jesus Christ, the firstborn of God, is one in being with Abba, and that through Christ all things were made. We, we believe, believe in, in trust. trust.
that for the salvation of us all, he came down from heaven, and that by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. We, we believe, believe and trust that. that Jesus was crucified for our sake, that under Pontius Pilate he suffered, died, and was buried, rising three days later as promised in the Holy Scriptures. We believe, we believe and trust that. that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at God's right hand, ready to return in glory. He will judge the living and the dead, and God's reign will have no end. We believe, we believe and trust, and trust in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life and inspiration of the prophets, who comes forth from the Father, and with the Father and the Son, she is worshipped and glorified. We, we believe, believe and trust, and trust. <clears throat> in one universal apostolic church, that one baptism washes away our sins and brings us to new life in Christ. We believe, we believe and trust. And trust. And the promised resurrection of the dead and our eternal life in the new Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. As we are open to the light of the Spirit, let us go where our hearts call us, that we may offer prayers for blessings needed and give thanks for blessings received. For all those who are grieving this Lent, and struggling on the basics, just how to get up and get through the day. And all those who are frightened and unemployed and worried about the future, we pray that you would be a source of joy, oh God, that you would be the God who provides for them. This we ask, we pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 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 <laughs> I'd like to lift up all teachers and all students, especially Honor and Bill, Devin and Maura, all those who are, oh, my niece Carolyn, all those who are um, trying hard to learn and to teach so that life will continue to grow in our hearts, we pray. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. We praise and thank you for the abundance of your grace, looking to the gathering of, of us all in the fullness of the love of Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus told us that before we offer our gifts at the altar, we should make peace with our brothers and sisters. With Christ as the author of all peace, let us offer a sign of Christ's peace to one another. Peace, 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 brothers and sisters. Peace and peace to friends on Twitch and YouTube. Peace. <laughs> yes. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbly chose to share in our humanity. With hearts lifted high, high, we offer thanks, we offer thanks and, praise thanks and praise to you, Lord, 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 God. In the communion of your love, love, you, you come close to us, us and we, and we come, we come close, close to you. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam ha'motu lechem min ha'aretz v'ore pri ha'gafen. Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the harvest of the fields and the fruit of the vine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made into bread and wine. <clears throat> they will become for us their spiritual food and drink. Blessed, Blessed are you, also. As, As we, we offer ourselves, ourselves to you, you, you are glorified in us. 
and your your life life renews renews the world. Living God, giver of holiness, holiness, source of of love, fountain of of wisdom, wisdom. you dry our tears and turn our pain pain into joy. joy. You enter the empty places of our hearts and bring your light into our darkness. You take the broken pieces of our lives and restore us to a new creation. You bring you order, order, order and chaos, chaos. Saving, saving us in our love, love shall rise across, the love which is us the love which is us the love which is us with the holy angels of light and with the whole company of heaven with those who have gone before us and with those who shall come after, with brothers and sisters, east and west, and with our loved ones, separate from us now, who yet in this mystery are close to us, we join in the realization of your unending greatness. Holy, 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 holy. God, God, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before Christ was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, This is my body. <clears throat> take and eat all, take this, all of you. This is my body, which is broken and now given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It is shed for you and for all that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ has risen. Christ has risen. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. As we celebrate these holy mysteries, may we and all for whom we pray be open to the glory of your presence, the beauty of your song, the healing power of your love. For without you, we are as nothing and our lives are empty and dead. Abba, remember those who take part in this offering. Remember Joe, our late founding bishop, Kate and Catherine, our bishops, and bishops, clergy, and those in formation everywhere. Remember, Remember those who are present. present. And, and all of you who are And all of us who are present. Remember those who died in the peace of Christ. And those who are present. Remember our friends and loved ones who have passed through the veil. In baptism, they died with Christ. May they also share in Christ's resurrection. We have prayed prayed for the gift of yourself yourself, through this bread which we break in your name. We have prayed prayed for the gift of yourself through this this cup which is set before us. us. May the sacrament be for us the bread of heaven, the the cup cup of salvation. salvation. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Abba, our loving parent. With confidence, let us pray to God in the way Jesus taught, as recorded by Matthew and Luke. Our Abba in heaven, holy is your name. May your name come. 
May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we also forgive those who fail us. Free us, O God, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the reign and the power of the Lord, now and forever. Amen. Holy God. Holy and strong, holy and holy, holy and holy, 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Holy Lamb of God, grant us your peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ. The life of Christ is offered for the life of the world. Here is Christ coming to us in bread and wine. This is the gift of God for the people of God. Everyone who is joining us on Twitch or YouTube, may you also be blessed with the body and blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 Lord, may we receive these gifts in purity of heart. May they be in In thankfulness, let us offer praise. The gifts of the universe have been given to us. The gift of the presence of God. The gift of life has been given to us. The gift of the love of God. So may we in all creation give of ourselves that life may be complete and we may enter the fellowship which is both human and divine, temporal and eternal. May we be the Lord our journey in the strength of our spirit. And we may share in heavenly things, so we may now find heaven and earthly things. Amen. 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 Peace of the flowing air to you, deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the Prince of Peace to you. May the strength of God guide us this day. May God's power preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the eye of God watch over us, the ear of God hear us. The word of God give gentleness to our speech. May the hand of God defend us. And may we follow the way of God this day and stand always. Amen. Amen. And may Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and Spirit, who is holy, bless and keep you now and forever. Amen. 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 Our celebration has ended. 
Let us go in peace to love and serve God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And thank you, friends, for celebrating Mass today. Thank you, Lori, for presiding. Thank you, Sheila, for the love and thought and work that went into kicking off our dialogue today. Thank you. Thank you, friends on Twitch and YouTube. Thank you, for joining Bill. Us. Thank you, Bill. And um, yeah, it's always nice to know you're there. And I just wanted to remind everyone that as Sheila kind of um, brought out a little bit in the homily, we're entering, we're about to enter into a time where we remember the most sacred core things of our faith. So next Sunday is Palm Sunday. And then the following week is the, is Holy Week. So I'll post more on Twitch and YouTube, the details later, but uh, Prince of Peace will be having Stations of the Cross. We're celebrating on Holy Saturday. Sheila will be leading us on Holy Saturday Vigil and then Sunday morning Mass again. Also, the, our larger community is celebrating um, 